everyone welcome to my channel this is Sahi. In this video I came up with a review on Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. You might have heard about this before and yeah many people talk a lot good things about this uh, but I'm not so far for this because I got my own causes. So I'm going to give my honest review and share my experience with this Maybelline Fit Me foundation so coming to my skin type and my skin tone uh, my skin is a combination to dry skin and uh, it's a kind of dry and at times combination and I prefer I got it like dry to oily skin rather than normal to oily but this is available in your in normal to oily type but not dry to oily and this is of 30 ml priced at uh, 500 rupees yeah every year the price keep on increasing <laughs> from 350 bucks to 500 bucks at present is the cost coming to my skin shade let me tell you one thing people are commenting about my skin tone and the foundations i use because guys my skin tone is different from my face and my hands even you can see my hand had two skin tones one side it is fairer compared to the other you can see here so my skin does have different skin tones yeah different tones my face tone is very much lighter compared to my tone of my hands yeah my hands are pretty tanned and dark compared to my skin uh, tone of my face i want to fit in my true tone and the hands i visited mac uh, stores and i got the suggestion from the artist from mac and uh, the person has suggested me uh, mac nc 30 8 is what I'm using because NC40 is a kind of darker on my face tone and it is like there is no 39 so I'm using a present NC38 uh, which is studio fix foundation that is a true match to my skin if you want me to talk about my MAC foundation so I'll be reviewing about that too very soon uh, so for that NC38 8 to 40 skin tones this is the right shade and the shade is 230 yes the shade is 230 which is named natural buff so that is the shade name in shade 230 so coming to the packaging the packaging is a glass packaging it comes in this glass bottle with a plastic uh, lid and this is travel friendly though it's not safe because it's a glass packaging so it may break it may fall kind of thing and i like this but i didn't like this kind of packaging for foundations because i prefer it pump packaging rather than this lid screw packaging because every time we have to take it like this and it comes more or less or it makes mess so i didn't like that much the packaging so coming to the shade let me give you the <laughs> this is what i generally don't like to do so let me give this shade uh, better i give this side so this is how the shade is uh, let me take some more it comes too much or too less that is what i don't like so this is the shade this is how it looks which is true match to my skin tone of face not my hands so the goodness of this is it is very easily blendable so it blends very easily and it covers well but it doesn't give full coverage it gives uh, medium coverage yeah because uh, i use it and it didn't cover my acne marks and didn't cover blemishes and acne marks so it is not for the full coverage it is for medium coverage it's good not for full coverage so yeah that's about uh, this thing my experience coming to its uh, lasting it lasts pretty good uh, though it made my t-tone oily it lasts for eight hours seven to eight hours yeah, pretty good but it you know, produces oil so i set it with a setting powder after I put on this foundation so that's really something which you have to remember it's it's not that matte 
it's a sheer mat <laughs> i mean it it's not perfect mat so you have to fit it with your fitting you know powder loose powder mattifies and refines pores matches natural tone natural seamless finish is what it claims and the goodness of this is it has three years shelf life it's three years that's really good so as it is not giving me the perfect uh, finish like true complete coverage what i do is i sometimes mix my uh, mac foundation and this uh, to make it kind of working out with this because i can't use it with medium coverage so that's what i wanted to say and share with you and uh, i purchased this on nika.com and this is made in china not made in usa that makes again difference uh, which i thought of making video i'll be coming up with that made in usa versus made in china video too so that's all my review and honest experience on this madeline fit me foundation hope you like it if you did all you have to do is hit that like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channels if you have not yet and do participate in the giveaways which are open to giveaways and do also watch my comparison video of prices on dmart and club factory that's good and you will know the reality guys so see you in the next video till then lots of love